Virtual Percussion Camp. I'm Will Keith. I'm Nick Blackwood. Today we're going to be talking about how to mark time. Why do we mark time? What does that mean? I don't know. What is marking time? I don't know. We, we should probably explain it. Let's do that. So marking time is all about the feet. Feet time. When we are not moving around on the field, we can mark time in our spot. So it's pretty simple. We start in our attention position. If you do not know what your attention position is, check out our video about body positions. And we're gonna start with our left foot. We're mirrored right now with you, so this is our left foot. So our left foot is gonna be on count one. So let's give a little count off here. I'll just count to four, and then we will take one mark time step. One, two, three, four, one. And what we did was we lifted our heel up about an inch or two, not very high, just enough to give that impression of a step. We are keeping our toes planted. Let's try that again. One, two, ready, go, boom. One, two, ready, go, one. And on the beat is when we hit the ground with our heel. So try this a couple times with us. Try to hit the beat with your heel. One, two, ready, go. One. One, two, ready, go. One. Let's try two steps. You're going to take your left step and then you're going to go into your right step. And it's the exact same but with the right foot. One, two, ready, go. Left, right. One, two, ready, go. Left, right. One, two, ready, go. Left, right. Let's try three steps. You're just going to go left, right, left. It's going to keep going through this pattern. One, two, ready, go. Left, right, left. One, two, ready, go. Left, right, left. Let's try eight steps. I'm skipping four because I think you can handle it. Let's go all the way to eight. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, whenever we stop, we're going to stop with a close. If we are marking time and we're going from place to place, we're always going to end up in this attention position. So if we're marking time and your feet start doing this, this is your opportunity to fix your feet back to attention position. So on our ninth step, which is a left foot, left foot, we're going to do our final step. So let's try it. We're going to go to eight, then we're going to hit nine, and we're going to freeze on that nine. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can also say close. Try saying it with us this time. We're going to say close on the ninth step. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, close. One more time. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, close. Nice job. So that's basically how to mark time. We're going to mark time whenever we're doing exercises. If we're doing music rehearsals and we've got music playing along, we might mark time if we're thinking through sets when we're on the field and we're thinking through where to go and for how many counts. There's a lot of reasons why we might mark time. You can mark time either sitting even when you're practicing at home, just tapping your feet along. You can stand with your drum stand up at your playing position and mark time as you are playing. You can mark time when you are holding your drum. You can mark time when you're not holding your drum and you're just chilling with a circle of friends and you guys are speaking through your parts or you're dudding or you're singing through your parts. Marking time is critical to successful marching band set formations. So make sure you're practicing marking time, not just with your instrument, but without it. All right, that's it for this video. I'm Nick Blackwood. I'm Will Keith. Thank you for joining us at Virtual Percussion Camp. If you like what we're doing here at Virtual Percussion Camp, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Tap out. It would be very helpful if the microphone was back in its original location. I know, someone is jamming out there. I think like three houses down there's a, a kid who plays on the drums over there, which is kind of funny to listen to him.
I think you're doing a good job. Yeah, doing good. a good job. Good, yeah. I know that. We don't need like, to add any background music to this. We right. Yeah. It. There you go. Tap out. No, we don't say tap out because it's in the it's in the close. That's right. Also, because I did a little well, when you start talking, that's gonna look weird. All right, that's it for this video about Martin. That's it for this video.